So in our last video, we talked about how to define backbone models and how JavaScript constructors work. Uh, in this next video, I'm going to talk about how to extend our backbone model here, which is what we defined here for our person2. Uh, we kind of also looked at the attributes of our lowercase person2, and we saw that we didn't have anything here. Whereas when we defined our constructor function for person1, we got the name and the say by default. So let's expand upon Backbone now, and let's go ahead and delete some of our original code for person1, and we'll see how we can get those back with the Backbone methods. So this time, I'm going to extend our Backbone model, and I'm going to do that in our constructor function. Remember, this is a person, so let's take out the two because we don't need it anymore. Uh, we're only going to use one person. And we'll make these names a little bit more um, user-friendly, if you will. So we'll go ahead and make this VJ. But let's go ahead and console log this out for now, because maybe we can come back to this. So actually, we can get rid of some of this stuff, because we'll come back to it. So with this extend function here, this is actually a method that belongs to underscore JS, which is actually a part of backbone.js. So if I go to underscore JS and I do a command find, and I do, uh, let's see here, extend. Here we go, I've got the extend method here. And I can start reading it. And this is definitely how you use underscore and backbone, these libraries here, because again, these are just dictionary pages. Basically, when you need to look up a function, you just go and do a find, and you can find out how the function works. Now, I'll tell you that when you first use these two sites and you read these functions, it's kind of hard to understand actually what is going on because these things, uh, they're written from the point of view for somebody who already kind of knows how to write these functions. If you've never written like your own convenience function for JavaScript, uh, coming into something like this might be kind of complicated. And also, it's a little bit pedantic too, and I, I mean by that it just means it uses big words. Uh, and if you don't really understand what this is talking about, it's also a little bit difficult to um, figure out, okay, what does this code do? And, um, you know, the other thing too <laughs> is if you try to read it, uh, which you can by clicking the development version like I did there, uh, you know, you can go in and you can read it. Uh, let's see here. Do they have it? Let's see. Okay, cool. So extend, when I did that, by default, it took me to this create assigner method. And then if I jump down, jump down, jump down, you know, it's, it's all over the place. I guess I have to look up the creator design method. Create design. Well, that's a little difficult to exclude, too. So I'm not na um, knocking on underscore JS at all. I actually like the library a lot. I think there's a lot of convenience methods, but for somebody brand new coming into it, it's kind of difficult or overwhelming to figure out, well, okay, where do I go first? Because everything has been, you know, modularized and modularized and, you know, rewritten and rewritten to be the finest, most perfect code ever. <laughs> And so sometimes I feel like because it's so perfect, uh, you know, you end up kind of losing people, especially if they're not at that level yet. But, um, you know, the big thing is persevere with, you know, programming. That's really what it comes down to. You know, no matter what, you know, as you progress in your own development, uh, you know, definitely just persevere because, you know, as you read a lot of stuff, it does get more complicated and you find that the lingo also gets more complicated when you work with a lot of other programmers who are coming from, um, you know, more years of experience. They're more senior. So, um, in any case, there you go. You know, uh, long story short, you know, like, coming back to the extend function down here, basically I'll just go over it. What it does is, let's say I have an object, right? In here it says name mo and age 50. By default, when you use this extend method, it combines the two objects together, so you only get one object back, name, mo, with age 50. In the same way here, 
when I do an extend, I'm actually saying I have this object backbone model. And I want to extend another object. I want to combine another object with it. And in backbone, when you extend an object, uh, you can pass in what's called defaults. And this is really key. I tripped up on this myself a couple times. If you don't put this keyword defaults, uh, you may not be able to find your attributes. So you want to have this there, defaults attribute, um, defaults property. And uh, in here now I can say I want a name and by default it'll be blank and I want a method called say. Actually, I'll go ahead and try these out. Actually, I may um, need to come back to this function first. So we'll go ahead and just do name for now. And then we can come back and check out some more stuff. So um, just to keep it simple, I don't want to get too complicated with the example right now. But let's say, okay, I want to uh, put, and we'll also, um, okay, we'll go ahead and we'll create a person, a lowercase person. And we'll say it's equal to a new backbone, or we'll say, I'm sorry, we'll say it's equal to a new person. Remember, constructor here, this is the definition, and here I'm creating an object instance. So now I want to console log person1, and this time I'm going to use the to JSON method, which comes with backbone. Because now, remember, this object instance is extended with both the backbone model plus whatever I put in here, and that will be the defaults. And uh, we'll go ahead and clear the console and we'll run it. See, now we've got our name. Awesome. And if we want to prove to ourselves we still have those backbone functions, we can also run. And here we go. Everything's there. And if you look carefully at attributes, there's our default name. Okay? Pretty cool, right? All right. In the next video, we'll talk about how to further extend this and put in more stuff like my actual name or pass in parameters here where you can create new people on the fly.